Hey everyone, good morning. This is me, Avishka Tadani, and the bulletin for today starts with NVIDIA proposes joint AI chip development with India. PM Modi urges civil servant to embrace AI for better governance. BSNL to focus on improving service. No tariff hike planned. Meta AI to remember users' preferences on WhatsApp. X introduces radar for premium plus users to track trends. Google adds biometric login to Find My Device app. Meta uses facial recognition to block fake ads. Now, in the previous quiz, we asked you what does GPS stand for. The answer is Global Positioning System. It's time for our daily tech quiz. Here's today's question: Who is the founder of Swiggy? Confident you've got the answer? Drop your guess in the comments below. Tune into tomorrow's news bulletin to find out if you've nailed it. Stay tuned. Let's start with the first news. Nvidia is in the preliminary discussions with the Indian government to develop an AI chip, leveraging India's strong semiconductor design talent. The proposal was made by Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang to Prime Minister Narendra Modi during a US visit earlier this year. This custom chip could serve Indian specific use cases such as railway security system and AI driven applications for startups. India Center for Development of Advanced Computing and private design firms may collaborate on this project. This initiative is expected to contribute to India's semiconductor mission, fostering indigenous chip design and innovation. Nvidia's market cap has surged due to its role in AI, making it a key player in global tech infrastructure. Now, we have Prime Minister Narendra Modi who has stressed the importance of adapting new technologies like artificial intelligence and governance during an event for civil servants. Speaking at the launch of Karma Yogi Sapta, he encouraged government officials to use AI and collaborate with startups and innovators for better citizen-centric services. Modi highlighted how AI can empower citizens and improve transparency in government for activities. He also emphasized the need for continuous learning and innovation to enhance governance. The National Program for Civil Service Capacity Building or Mission Karma Yogi aims to prepare a future-ready civil service. Modi believes that harnessing AI will contribute to India's progress, driving towards the goal of developed nation by 2047. Now we have state-owned BSNL which has announced that it will not raise tariffs soon and will focus on improving service quality. This comes after a surge in subscribers from private telecom operators who raised prices by 10-27%. to 27%. BSNL added 2.9 million users in July 2024 and now has 88.5 million mobile users. Chairman Robert Ravi shared plans to make BSNL profitable and launch new user-friendly services including spam blockage, Wi-Fi roaming, fiber-based TV services. The company also introduced private 5G networks for industries like mining. BSNL is aiming to achieve a 25% mobile market share by 2025. The government is also considering additional funding to help BSNL expand its 4G network and transition to 5G. Now, Meta is working on a new feature for WhatsApp that will allow its AI chatbot to remember details about the users to offer more personalized responses. Spotted in the beta version of WhatsApp, the chat memory feature will let Meta AI recall information like food preferences, conversational styles, and interests shared by users. This will help make conversations with AI more interactive, natural, and relevant. Users will have more control over what Meta AI remembers and can delete or update the information anytime. This is a part of Meta's ongoing effort to enhance personalization on its AI across platforms, making its experience smoother and more intuitive. X, which is formerly Twitter, has launched a new feature called Radar, available for Premier Plus users to provide instant access to latest trends, news and live events. This feature uses real-time data to deliver up to the minute updates, ensuring users stay informed about current events. Radar allows users to search for keywords or hashtags offering results filtered by relevance in time, making it easier to find content on trending topics. This is a part of X's broader push to enhance its user experience for premium subscribers. However, the platform continues to face criticism, including from the European Union, over its verification system and compliance with digital regulations. Google has updated its Find My Device app to include biometric login, allowing users to access it using fingerprints, facial recognition, or a PIN. This feature enhances both security and convenience, replacing the need to enter Google's account password each time. The biometric login ensures only authorized users to track, lock, or erase data or find lost devices. Google is also reportedly working on redesign of the app for tablets, shifting to the side panel layout for easier navigation on larger screens. These updates follow the recent integration of the Find My Device network into Google Home app, expanding the app's functionality. Now, 
Now Meta is also testing facial recognition technology on Facebook and Instagram to combat scams that use celebrity images in fake ads. The system compares flagged ads with celebrity profiles, blocking them if a scam is detected. This is a part of Meta's efforts to prevent users from falling for celeb bait, scams that trick people into sharing personal information or sending money. Meta is also testing facial recognition for account recovery, allowing users to regain access via video selfies instead of uploading documents. The company plans to expand these protections to more public figures soon. Privacy safeguard like automatic deletion of facial data after use aim to keep the system secure and user friendly. This was it for today's news. Stay tuned to IT Voice for more such tech updates.